cool. Have you ever met John Paul Jr.? I haven't met him. He's actually one of my best friends. Yeah, he's a, a fantastic guy. Uh, he actually, I, I, some of my great best success has been co-driving with him. Uh, for, for one year, I'm going to forget what year it was, but it might have been 97. Uh, every, every time that we drove together, we would win. Oh. And, and, and what makes that even more impressive is, was the part of those, some, some of those wins or after he had a group of shunts at the Indy 500, actually uh, testing for the Indy 500 where he broke his leg. Oh. And for the second half of the year, John was, was still my teammate, but he, uh, he would you know, hobble out to the car, uh, obviously in huge pain. But, uh, but once he put his helmet on and you know, fired up the car and got going, he was, you know, he was still faster than anyone. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, you know, it was just his commitment and, uh, you know, his, his, his ability to, to, to focus that have gotten through it. But, like, I'm sure he was in excruciating pain because you could see just even trying to walk that he was having a hard time. But now he had that, uh, just, but John was, it was always uh, a great teammate, uh, great friend, uh, really, you know, one of the, just the sweetest guys that you could, uh, that you could, you could ever meet. Yeah. A different story from his dad, I'll say, probably, from what I've read. Well, yeah, yeah, but, um, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it, it, you know, it's hard to believe that the, the two are, are related, you know. But, yeah. uh, but, uh, but, yeah, but, but John, uh, uh, John Paul Jr. was just, uh, he, he, he was almost a, a great guy. Actually, I'm glad you mentioned him, because I, I need to give him a call. It's been a while since I talked to him. Yeah, you should do that probably when you're done with this phone call and all that. So yeah, uh, uh, let me think, uh, let me think. Oh yeah, isn't John Paul Jr., doesn't he like run some sort of foundation now? Well, um, uh, I, I think, uh, you might be right, I, I think he actually has a uh, condition called uh, Huntington's disease. Oh. Which is a, uh, a form of uh, oh shoot, I'm forgetting the, the name of the of the disease. Uh, the, uh, the, like uh, like Michael J. Fox has, like Mark Parkinson's, oh. uh, where where uh, the, the body kind of starts stops listening to the brain. Uh, but he's actually done better than I think anyone that they have on record. Oh. Uh, so, and, and to the point where they're actually studying him, it's like why is he doing so much better than than, than other people? Uh, but uh, but yeah, so, he, so he's been he's been challenged with that uh, for the past actually quite a few years. Uh, but uh, but but he's, he's the last time I spoke to him, he was he was, he was doing really well. Uh, I was able to see him when I was in Los Angeles, and and uh, you know it was still the same John, you know, with a big smile and. Yeah, how is he doing with, you know, uh, knowing that he's probably not going to see his dad again? Uh, you know, I, I, that's a good question, but I, I, I don't actually know. I didn't, didn't really talk to him about his dad. I, I, you know, I, I never really knew his dad. I think I met him once, I think. Um, yeah, so I never really talked to him so much about his dad. Yeah. And Johnny had so many other stories, you know, too. He was racing for so long, uh, and you know, had so many wins and so many different cars and types of car that, uh, yeah, he, he could, you know, most of the time was taken up, you know, with me asking him stories from different years. Uh, yeah. Hopefully he's moved on, because if I were in his shoes, it would kind of be tough for me to move on. 